Hello everybody, my name is Dean Davis and this is Multiply, the podcast that provides a word of encouragement for village church planters. Have you ever read a passage of scripture or heard a preacher quote a Bible verse and feel deep conviction that God was speaking to you? I have. Have you ever read a Bible passage or heard a preacher quote scripture and really not pay close attention at all? I have. Do you know people who hear the Word of God over and over again, yet they never respond in faith? I'm sorry to say, I do. You and I have become convinced that the Bible is the Word of God, yet there are many people who just do not believe that. They don't believe that God will speak to them through the Bible. Some are idolaters, some are Muslims, some are atheists, some even go to church, but they don't really believe in God. When we speak God's Word, when we preach or teach or share the good news with a friend, we never know how that Word will be received. Will it be received with faith or with doubt? Will it be received with an open heart or a closed mind? We just never know what to expect. When Paul went to proclaim the Word of God to the Thessalonians, he did not know how they would respond. Acts 16 tells us that Paul preached in Philippi before going to Thessalonica. In Philippi, some, like Lydia, opened their heart to receive the Word that Paul spoke. But others rejected his message and had him thrown in jail. So Paul had no idea how the Thessalonians would receive his message but he preached it anyway. He wrote in 1 Thessalonians 2.13, And we also thank God continually, because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you Thessalonians accepted it not as a human word, but as it actually is, the word of God, which is indeed at work in you who believe. Why do some people believe the word of God and some do not? Why do some take action to obey God's Word and some do not? We just don't know, but we do know that God's Word is living and active and sharper than a two-edged sword. We know that the Gospel is the power of God for salvation, and so we preach and proclaim, we tell and explain, we broadcast and publish God's Word. We don't know how any particular person will respond or when they will mix faith with what they hear and put their trust in God, but we know that some will, and so we preach. Even when we're tired, even when it looks like none want to respond, even when some have heard the message before, we are Christ's ambassador. God uses us to make His appeal, so we implore people on Christ's behalf to be reconciled to God. Sooner or later, some people will respond, just as the Thessalonians responded to Paul's message. When that happens, great rejoicing breaks out and we give thanks to God. Even so, we never know when more people will respond, so we keep preaching, keep loving, keep explaining, keep telling God's story. The word we proclaim is powerful and it will do its work. Praise the Lord. This has been Multiply, and I'm Dean Davis asking, who will you share this encouraging word with today?